We're good with it. Today, I want to talk to y'all about the bare essentials that you need to start customizing sneakers. Rips out through my jeans, I'm vintage tees, and I get chicks, nigga. Reason why your girl look on my page and she be wet, nigga. You know. Oh! <laughs> Okay, the first thing you gonna need is Angelus paint. So many different colors you can choose from. Choose whatever colors you want. I will recommend maybe even starting off with the starter pack. You know, it comes with different paints and everything. Pretty, almost everything you need to get started customizing. It's around like 30 or $36. A lot of times they may have sales on it. So, see what kind of sales they have going. So you can catch some deals. Now, with buying Angelus paint, everything that they have to offer will be on their website. But, there are also retailers around the nation that you can just Google, look it up, see if your a local art store may have it, maybe even a local craft store like a Michaels. I don't know, I've seen that, you know, if you look it up, they say that some Michaels have it, but I haven't personally seen it, but I have a local art store in my city, which is Memphis, Tennessee, and they sell Angela's paint. And uh, another place that I live, which is Nashville, they had an uh, art store that had the paint and everything, actually two of them. So Google it, see if they have Angela's this paint in your area close to you so you can save on the shipping and get to the paint immediately. Unlike the Angelus products, um, these next products you will basically be able to find them anywhere that you live. So let's get into them. Acetone. Acetone will take off the factory finish so the paint can adhere properly to the leather. If you don't take it off, your shoes won't last the way they need to. Secondly, after the acetone, you'll be needing cotton balls. The cotton balls, basically, you know, you dip them into the acetone, rub off the shoe, factory finish, get that off so you can get to your paint. Alright, after that, you'll be needing paintbrushes. You can get paintbrushes just about anywhere. You can get a Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, pretty much anywhere that sells crafting and all kinds of different stuff like that, you can get paintbrushes. So, you should be able to find your paintbrushes. But, uh, I would recommend getting acrylic paintbrushes. Don't get the brushes that are for watercolors. They won't work properly. They'll start, the brushes will start coming out and just leaving all kinds of debris and all that kind of stuff. So, to avoid that, just get the acrylic brushes. Another essential that you'll be needing is tape. You're gonna need masking tape, especially for beginners. If you're just starting out, to eliminate a lot of headache and <laughs> and mishaps and all that kind of stuff you want to tape off the surface that you don't want paint on because obviously you're just starting out you're not going to have that same control as you would if you were a veteran or a pro you know what I'm saying having years and years up under your belt so definitely invest in you some masking tape mask off all of those areas that you don't want paint on if you want crisp lines you trying to achieve some kind of effect definitely that masking tape is going to help you and it's going to save your life <laughs> you know yeah now when you buy your angelus paint you want to choose all the colors that you would like to use on a specific shoe or shoes in the future i would recommend getting a bigger thing of white and black because those colors you're going to use the most in your custom journey so along with those colors that you are purchasing and all that good stuff from angelus you're going to need a finisher you can get the angelus finisher or you can use the finisher that i like to use on all of my customs. The finisher that I use is called LK Top Coat. They have different kinds of finishers, different sheens and all that kind of stuff. So you can get matte, you can get flat, you can get gloss, all that kind of stuff. And they also make their own paints if you want to, you know, test those out and dive into that. Okay, and the other thing, probably the most important thing you're gonna need is the shoes. I will recommend hitting a couple thrift stores or see what you have in your closet that you really don't care that much about, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they may be a little worn or anything of that nature. Just something you can't that you won't lose a lot of money on. You feel me? Something you can practice on, something you'll feel comfortable practicing on. So grab those shoes, clean them up, acetone, all that stuff. Get started painting on your shoes. The more you paint, the better you'll get, and the quicker you will advance in your custom journey. Last thing, and this is the most important thing, is the imagination, man. You gotta 
Envision what you want to paint on those shoes, man. Have your ideas flowing. Write them down before you even get your paint. Just write all your ideas down. Write your color palettes down. All that good kind of stuff, man. And get to the painting. Now, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed that video and it helped you in any way you needed it to. I get this question a lot. I actually just got a DM about it, so I had to go ahead and pump this video out because I want to help everybody who needs help. So, you know, if, if you really enjoyed this video, if it helps you, please leave a like. You feel me? Subscribe. <laughs> Join the squad. You feel me? Man, if y'all ever have anything you need help with, if you ever want to ask me questions, just DM me at cadet underscore b7 on Instagram. I'm always answering my DMs. I'm never too busy for y'all, man. If I am busy, I will get back to you. I answer all of my DMs. So don't think, okay, I might DM him and he ain't gonna respond. Nah, I'm gonna respond. If you leave a comment, I'm gonna respond. If you have anything, any kind of video that you would like to see from me, definitely leave it down there in the comments. You feel me? It's your boy, the Cadet, now I'm signing out. I'ma catch it, you hit me. <laughs>